Right. So I've been playing uh, Cyber Sleuths uh, for a few days now. I haven't really had a lot of time to just sit down and play it with, with all this whole week. So much going on. Focusing on my V-Pets and my Vital Brace. So I've been having a lot of fun with those. But now that I have time to just uh, check out the game a lot more. Especially since I got this really cool um, smaller uh, Nintendo Switch Lite. The new blue color because blue is my favorite color. I have been having so much fun just carrying this around, it's so much lighter, and as a huge handheld fan, uh, I've just been having so much more enjoyment out of the Switch than I have with my main regular uh, Switch. So I uh, met the requirement to Digivolve uh, Sunamon to Vmon. I just thought I'd document it because uh, Vmon is one of my favorite Digimon, so let's go ahead and Digivolve. Sunamon, Digivolve 2. Vmon, there he is, the boy. Vmon, you know what that means? We're going to head on our way to Magnamon. I, I hope you can get to Magnamon. Oh well, yeah, cool. Just look at how cool Graumon is. His design in this game is awesome. I love it. I guess I should talk a little about what I want so far with the Digimon I currently have. Um, so, uh, Terriermon, um, I need to get her to uh, level 16, however her max level is 15. In order to um, increase uh, level cap, you have to de-digivolve and then digivolve again. I think that's how it works. Uh, I'm still working out the intricacies of the game. Um, but in order to get Terriermon, um, I want her to become Gatomon. So in order to get her to Gatomon, uh, she needs to be level 16 max. She has the stats in order to evolve. She just doesn't can't. She just needs to be level 16. Um, so I need to de digivolve, and to de digivolve, I need to find the uh, previous stage, which is uh, Nyaromon. So I have not discovered Nyaromon yet. Um, that's going to be my goal with Terriermon uh, to get her to the next step of Gatomon because Gatomon obviously can become Angelomon. And then Vimon, um, I wanted to get Vimon him to Flame Drummon. However, apparently I need the Egg of Miracles, right? Or no, Egg of Courage. I'm so bad with my Digimon lore. I need one of the eggs um, in order to Digivolve it to Flame Drummon. So I think Vidramon is one of the options. Um, but Vidramon also needs to be, uh, level six or Vmon needs to be level 16 in order to digivolve. Um, I, my max level is 22 because I started off at a uh, baby level. And I think that's why, but yeah, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. And I guess I'll be documenting this as if it's a V pet, um, just a new device, I guess to add since it's a portable device, uh, it's an LCD screen. So yeah, a new device to, uh, talk of Digimon about. So short update video today, uh, I started playing uh, Cyber Sleuths. This is the complete edition. I recently got this really nice um, Midnight Blue or Shadow Blue, whatever the kids call it nowadays, kind of blue, uh, Switch Lite, and I've been loving it. Just the, the form factor, the portability, as someone who's a sucker for handhelds and who has a channel dedicated to handheld gaming per se, um, I've been having a lot of fun with this uh, Switch Lite, um, but I started a run on Cyber Sleuths. Um, and I kind of want to document this as if it's a V-Pet. So, uh, so far I have Terriermon and uh, Vmon, and I'm working my way to get Terriermon to Gatomon to get uh, Angelomon because, and uh, Vmon to get to XVmon. Uh, uh, XVmon is a possibility, but I want to get to Magnamon because Magnamon, I mean, dude, Magnamon. I also got uh, mail today, so let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. Um, really quick uh, update on my V-Pets and their progress, so let's head to the desk. So I finally got the rest of these bad boys in the mail today! Yes! I'm actually kind of liking the, the translucent gold and silver, that's pretty nice, but you know I'm a sucker for this blue. Anything blue, any, any anything blue is just super nice and gold. It's just so freaking cool. So I think we already took a look at the back on the last one. Um, we got, uh, can't really tell. Here's a Omnimon X or Omegamon X. Um, what is this? Slatemon X. Uh, 
not too familiar with the the names of them i think actually this guy is uh uh Examon x Examon x right that's this guy right here Examon x but here is the v3 yellow version that's i'm actually kind of growing the color's growing on me not too big a fan of the black um but yeah wait hold up who is that <gasps> no way Magnumon X? Is that Magnumon? Hold on, I gotta look this up. That's Magnumon X. Okay, I'm sold. This is the one I'm running. I'm, I'm, I'm opening this one up and running this. I gotta get that Magnumon X. So the order of uh, V3s I actually got from uh, Japan Yuan. And um, it was my first time ordering with them. And I actually really uh, thought they did a good job. The packaging was amazing. And... Um, they also sent me this uh, free Agumon card for the new uh, Digimon card game, which I kind of want to get into. I've just been so into so many different card games in my lifetime. Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Cardfight Vanguard, uh, Vice Schwartz, uh, Luck and Logic, all these different anime card games and, you know, Magic. Uh, and now that I'm kind of, you know, super obsessed with Digimon, um, I might get into this, especially since there's an English release. Um, who knows? Uh, I really like the uh, art. It's it's Agumon. I have no idea what any of these numbers mean, but we'll see what happens in the future. It's just more money to spend, you know, and I've already got my hands full with V-Pets. Uh, but yeah, this is actually really cool. It was a really ple pleasant surprise. So uh, update on Gilmon. So I actually got Gilmon. Uh, I don't know if I might edit some footage into it to show him off uh, just hanging out. So here's uh, Gilmon and of course... He is on his way to Graumon. Uh, what I really like about the Pendulum uh, Z is that even though when they're asleep, I think Evolution Timer still is on. They're still uh, count so they can evolve in their sleep, which actually I witnessed earlier this morning. I think it was this morning or sometime yesterday or this morning. Either way, uh, I witnessed uh, Evolution during its sleep. Um, so I've got actually in backup shine graymon the boy himself so i've got shy graymon here and then i'm wearing my way to uh dukemon or uh, gallantmon whatever you prefer i prefer dukemon that's that's how i came to know him um and dukemon just sounds like way cooler i mean gallantmon sounds pretty cool too i, I don't know it, what, whatever your preference is so uh sleep now little gilmon until you become graymon and then obviously sagittarimon uh, not too much has been going on. I've got him to his required uh, uh, requirements to get to Magnamon. Finally on my way to Magnamon on the Vital Brace, which I'm super excited for. Uh, but yeah, so that concludes this episode for today. Just a really quick uh, update and recap. Don't know if this is going to be a traditional Digi Days episode, maybe uh, like a, uh, maybe just like a mini recap or a uh, just a up to date kind of thing. Especially since I'm running, uh, I'm running uh, Cyber Sleuths as a uh, V pet. Um, so this will be kind of like a update here and now, here and there. Uh, uh, actually, really liking the game, raising the Digimon into what uh, what I want them to be to to be, and checking the requirements, and realizing that this game is just bigger than than what I had originally re realized what it was. Um, it's definitely not a Pokemon clone, um, which you know, growing up, I always thought Digimon was a Pokemon clone. And um, but Digimon in itself is definitely nothing like Pokemon, where you know gotta catch them all. This is actually you know a story driven anime. Um, and a story driven, you know, world, which, you know, I've come to, you know, fall in love with, which I'm having a lot of fun uh, playing this game and uh, just being involved in Digimon in general. Uh, so, yeah, until next time, we'll see you guys later.